Hi, I'm Bill Waverly. And I'm Kate Gloss with All You Need to Know. Today's top story, Headhunters Call the Shots. Following the shock resignation of ACN chief Alan Sharp and an accidental blaze at biotech research labs, it seemed like criminals would have a field day. With ACN officers working traffic duty and biotech unable to monitor criminal control chips, felons went on a spree which saw values on the criminal exchange soar to record levels. However, latest figures suggest Governor Hernandez is turning the tide, the headhunters responding enthusiastically to his Make My Day initiative, which promises less regulation and substantial bonuses for every felon captured. With arrests at a six-month high and the Aquadome forced to cap prisoner numbers with a weekly con bad cull, it seems the headhunters really are making a killing. In other news, voices from the deep. Salvage teams seeking to recover organs from the wreck of Don Fulci's ship, the Queen of Hearts, today confirmed that unexplained signals are emanating from the seabed. This follows reports of interference to satellite navigation equipment from shipping in the area. Experts say this is not a standard distress signal, but until divers clear debris from the ship's transmitter, it's impossible to say what the... Initiating. 
Looks like it induced some kind of seizure. Keep away. Jack? The virus. Bloody Mary. I'm infected. And the X must. The commercial. It must be the trigger. Subliminal images causing extreme neurostimulation and hormonal imbalance. It could be. There has to be something. Some way of... Did Zweiberg say anything about an antidote? No need. <laughs> Masteries are immune. His... Oh boy. Zweiberg, you are one sick puppy. But if Adam is immune, then... Here it is. A sterile form of the virus woven into the DNA, giving him genetic immunity. If we could get a sample of this thing's DNA, I could make up an antidote. And how do you plan to get it? Ask nicely. Then I could use a gene sequencer machine to isolate the viral DNA and make up a vaccine. I'll take care of Adam. No way. I can do this. Trust me. Just no TV, okay? Pleasant dreams, Mr. Wade? I believe the tranquilizer has that effect. Since I was a child under the jackboot, I dreamed of a world ruled by intellect. Years of experiments on the criminal dregs of society and on you finally produced this. Totally organic, pre-programmed to control every thought, feeling and action. This chip will lead the world to a new order of purity, discipline, and obedience. You plan to stick that thing in everyone? Hardly. A new world deserves a new species, free from decadence and decay. Meet Adam, prototype of the new race. His body enhanced with nanotechnology, self-healing, Self-modifying, adapting over days, not generations. His mind filled with my own mental image, the intellect of a genius. The chip, a part of his DNA, ensuring that even after my death, he and his successors continue to follow my will. After you killed Stern, I decided to give Adam some of your more ruthless qualities. But when you interrupted the transfer, he was left... damaged. That will soon be corrected. Here. You must be thirsty after the procedure. You expect this thing to rule the world? Not alone. Mass production requires huge amounts of DNA protein. Fortunately, the Syndicate proved a reliable source once I told Sharp it was needed for mind control chips. Besides, once my children are ready, the world will be on its knees. Humankind all but wiped out by a deadly virus. Bloody Mary. Named after my late wife. 
a modified Ebola. It dissolves the internal organs to a pulp, fitting end to this corrupt civilization. And distribution was laughably simple. Once introduced, the virus remains dormant until I activate the trigger. Then it becomes virulently contagious, creating a plague from which only Adam is immune. And what's the trigger? I must tend to Adam. Graft in the missing neural sectors from your scan. Relax, Mr. Wade. But remember, <laughs> too much TV can damage your health. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Wade, as I live and breathe. How's it going, Hank? Peachy. Here I am, here you are. Didn't even have to break sweat chasing you. Sorry to spoil the party, Hank, but my bail bond's been paid. <laughs> Call this one a loss leader. See, Mr. Sharp would kind of like to see you dead. And I'm kind of cozy with that, too. Next up, I get to replace that fossil hawk as chief. Good to have goals, Hank. But how does a number two headhunter get to be chief? Okay, smartass. We'll see who's second best. The headhunter way. You walk that way, I walk this. Count of ten, turn, and start firing. A duel, huh? Sure you can count to ten? Biotech. Why doesn't that surprise me? I'm coming with you. No way. From what we saw on the ship, that lab's into something pretty sick. Jack. I mean it. I'm gonna check out Layla first, see what I can dig up on Biotech's use of organs. Whatever happens, I'll let you know. Trust me. You sound like a damn media break. Hate to break it to you, Jack. Your days at number one on the exchange are over. I used money from the Syndicate account to pay off your bail bond. The rest is on its way to charity right now. You're a free man again. Looks like I owe you my ass. That and a few other organs. What should we do with the Master Disc? Sharp has the government on his side. He'll claim it's a phony. I still can't believe Alan was Fulci all along. The guy's a sleaze, but blackmail? Kidnapping? Far as that goes, you raised the profile. Alan and the ACN look good for getting you out of the mall. Meanwhile, the syndicate gets rich at the bank. Maybe he figured, kill me, get the girl. Fat chance. For the rest, him running the syndicate kind of makes sense. Control both sides, criminals and crime fighters, win both ways. Power, money. Murder? Did Alan kill my father? Fulci? We gotta get out of here. It's nearly done. A couple more seconds. We don't have time. If I boost the gamma now... Sharp? Alan? I don't... She's breaking up. I'll get 
Get the escape launch from the rear of the ship, bring it around to the side bay. Jack! Get to the side bay. Take it easy. I ain't no hero. Honest guy. I like that. What's this? Key card to the rear of the ship. I I'm supposed to guard the engine room. You're doing a great job. Keep talking. What's biotech want with black market organs? People got the money. Syndicate's got the goods. But the guys driving the biotech trucks, they say there's weird stuff going on in there. Like what? Like that outbreak of flu they put down to research and a cure. Only people died and they weren't in research. Just warehouse guys, ordinary Joes. Plus, I heard... What? I heard they got something else in there. Some kind of a sick, screwed up experiment. A, a man thing. Boogie man, huh? Sounds like a bedtime story. Sleep tight. Oh! There's a ship. 
prison ship? No, cargo. Looks like the Queen of Hearts. Fulci ship? Mm -hmm. Fulci. Plus 10,000 tons of illegal organs. Start paddling. Today's top news. ACN crime fighters score a slam dunk against Don Fulci and the Syndicate. Agency VP Alan Sharp summed it up. I'm proud to announce that Agent Hank Redmond, one of our top headhunters, not only succeeded in disarming the thermonuclear device planted by the Syndicate, he also apprehended former agent Jack Wade, a disgrace to this agency and a menace to society. The ACN takes care of this great nation, and it takes care of its own. So, a great day for the ACN, but things aren't looking so bright for Jack Wade. That's right, Kate. The former headhunter today began a sentence at the high-security Aquadome underwater prison. Renowned for its escape-proof security, brutal inmates, and harsh regime, Aquadome retains a 100% record on riots and unrest. Firm up there and watch the air. So goes the saying, and with powerful pumps that vent inmates' oxygen into the ocean, troublemakers soon find themselves gasping, while anyone still up for a fight can let off steam in the infamous Aquadome Arena. And viewers get another chance to see that pent-up aggression tonight. Aquadome, combat the Gladiator Games, exclusively on ABCBS. Sounds exciting, Bill, especially with Jack Wade himself top of the bill. You said it, Kate. Former bounty hunter up against demented criminals. This one could be a real grudge match. Good news is the public's the winner. Loses organs going for transplant. That's right. I'll bet there's a few people would like one of Jack Wade's organs inside them, eh, Kate? ACN Chief Alan Sharp reacted modestly to his men's successful rescue of the mall hostages, describing it as professionals doing what professionals do. Nonetheless, it's a number two for Sharp and uh... Good evening. My name is Don Fulci, and my transmitter presently controls all network channels. So no flipping. Today, Assets belonging to the Syndicate organization were seized in an act of wanton criminality. I offer you, the American people, a chance to remedy this injustice by making donations to the Syndicate account at safeorsorry.com unless our funds are restored with interest in the next few hours. I will detonate a thermonuclear device in the heart of Los Angeles. So give generously. Our apologies for the interruption. And this just in. ACN agents have discovered the nuclear bomb and verified it is capable of leveling the city and vaporizing all living things for 70 square miles. However, they assure us the bomb will soon be diffused and there's no cause for alarm. Oh, well, that's good to know, Bill. So, big night in the city. How's the weather shaping up? What's your name? Esteban Hector Ramirez. Hector? You work for Don Fulci, Hector? True or false? True. Don Fulci controls the syndicate, correct? Yes. You were unnaturally close to your sister, true? Yes. Guess it's working. Now how do I get in there? My hand. False fingerprints. Move. Walter 
Don't tell me. The real Walter Smith took an unplanned holiday? No, he took a 45 to the head. You're screwed, ass hunter. The money already started to transfer. And guess who's the only one can get into the computer room? Guess who's the only one knows how to take down the lasers? And guess who's not talking? Maybe I can change your mind. <laughs> you think so? First money I ever earned, I was a test subject at the government torture labs. So go ahead, give it your best shot. Banks closed us, Hunter. For good. We have some unfinished business. Drop your weapons. Tough guy. I like that. When I was a kid, I had pets. Only they were weak. They died too easy. Sure. Your puppy died and you became a sadistic mass murderer. Happens all the time. Go ahead and laugh. Only these babies, they don't die so easy. Acid for venom. Steal for a hub, just like their papa. My friends, they call me the cyber cowboy. The rest of us call you asshole. That's good. Now I enjoy watching you die. Angela? Jack, get me out of here. Hang on. I'll find something to pull you up. Yes, yes. Project Millennium's right on course. Am I lucky, or am I just the best? You're the best, boss. This controls the mall security systems. Keeps our friends from the ACN out. Take care of you. I'm gonna go prime the charge on the security unit. Then it's time to make a withdrawal from the bank. What time you got? Rest of the charges are already set to blow. It's gonna be like the 4th of July around here. Make sure no one follows me to the sewers and keep an eye out for that asshole Wade. You see him, you know what to do. Hey, boss. It's all up here. That's leadership. No word from inside for some 15 minutes now. ACN officers have them all completely sealed off. And ACN Chief Alan Sharp is at the scene. Mr. Sharp, what's the latest on the situation? Intelligence suggests a group of armed terrorists, members of the Underworld Syndicate, are holding a number of people hostage. Does this look like the work of Don Fulci? It's too early to speculate, Kate. But I promise you that whoever's responsible will be brought to justice. Now, Angela Stern, kidnapped at gunpoint. What's she feeling right now? I've known Angela a very long time, and she's a special kind of lady. I'm sure she'll be... Help me! Pull me up! You want a good reason? I got organs. You ain't supposed to let me die. I forgot the rules. This amnesia's a bitch. I'll make it worth your while. I, I know stuff. Don Fulci. The sympathy. I ain't gonna beg. Start talking. Thanks. Hey, no hard feelings. The job, it's just money, right? You and me, we're different sides of the same dollar bill. Fulci's dollar? Days you can make a living freelance, they're gone. The syndicate, 
It's like the Teamsters. You don't work for them. You don't work at all. What line of work? Black market, mostly. Culture's big into organ trafficking. And I mean big. Crazy. Ships them in from the Mideast, China, all over. Beats me what he does with them all. Where's Fuchi now? Last I heard, he was on a cargo ship, carrying organs from that flood in the Caribbean. The Queen of Hearts. It's been special, but no hard feelings. You earned your dollar. Fulci knows I screwed up on him. I'm better off on his side. In case you're interested, there's some ammo and other stuff in the storage room. Over there. You're going after Fulci. You'll need it. They say you don't even see him coming. Like the angel of death. I'll keep that in mind. Whoa, big man with an EMP gun. I got your number, Headhunter. They told me about you. Maybe you can share sometime. <laughs> you won't live long enough. Your ID card and VM, Ancient Wade. Model VM-52X standard issue. Bio-recognition chip identifies the user assessing his digital career resume. Access to some information may be restricted. Could be a blessing in disguise. Full operating instructions are in the online database together with all standard briefings. Any questions, check the database. Any problems, give it a whack. Anything else, ask anyone but me. Sign here, here, and here. To collect your other equipment, approach the correct dispenser for your license type and insert your ID card. Note the VM also functions as a cellular phone. Jack Wade is at live and breathe. Sorry, I... What, you don't remember me? Boy, that hurts. Hank Redwood, professional headhunter. You and me, we were real close. I was number one, you were right up there at second best. Only not everyone saw it that way till now. Maybe they'll change their minds again. <laughs> Most of our colleagues training in here, they only got A license as if they're lucky. This here is a triple A. I beat your record, Jack. You want the number one spot, you'll have to climb right over me, starting with your very own C license. Wait, it's coming back. Yeah, Hank Redwood. Abusive father, flunked out of high school, loved working the Vice Squad, found he had a nose for sniffing out lowlife, never had a girlfriend, dog walked out on him. Wait a minute, how did you know? Call it a lucky guess. Okay, smartass. Go get your C, we'll see who's laughing. Oh, and hey, my dog never walked out on me. Here for a license? Okay. To obtain a law enforcement license, you must pass the entry grade proficiency test using the VR terminal located in the VR room. Passing further tests will allow you to upgrade your license if merited by your performance in the field. In the unlikely event that you're successful, the VR terminal can also be used to access information from the Layla database. Once licensed, you can withdraw equipment from the equipment dispenser for your grade of license. Clear? To begin the test, approach the VR terminal. That's the easy part. Before you go, I have something to show you down in the garage. You can use my bike to get around town. Relic from my wild days. But it still works fine. Nice bodywork. For a relic. Hmm. 
The Layla testing facilities are located here. Time to go get that license. Guess it's a while since you've been in the saddle. I figure it'll come back to me. Knock him dead, Jack. I'm Bill Waverly. And I'm Kate Gloss with All You Want to Know. Top of the news, a new champion in the war against crime. President Goodman today announced formation of the Anti-Crime Network, an elite force of private law enforcement operatives to be headed by millionaire industrialist and political heavyweight Christopher Stern. With funding from government, business, and the midweek lottery, the ACN promises a billion dollar crackdown on organized crime and safer streets for you and me. In other news, Governor Hernandez apologizes for global warming, promising a statewide hot air initiative. How he plans to achieve his targets... It's official. Privatized is best. Following last year's armed forces sell-off and the financial success of the Mideast War, the ACN is extending its crime-fighting capability with private contractors specially trained to hunt down wanted felons. ACN chief Christopher Stern said the new headhunters will be Layla certified and fully insured, promising to deliver more bang for your buck. Meanwhile, more power to the elbow of concerned parents with new laws prohibiting all public displays of human or animal violence. You know, Bill, my dog just hates violence. We could learn a lot from dumb animals, Kate. Next up, movie madness in Muskoka. Every school kid knows the value of life, Kate. But how about a life of crime? From today, all wanted felons are to have bail bonds set by government, with values listed on the criminal exchange. More crimes and worse crimes see the bail figure rise. Rehab sees it fall. Successful headhunters receive 10% of the bail, the rest going to meet ACN costs. Felons unable to meet bail face compulsory organ donation. Kate? Recycling is the order of the day. Now crime fighters have got the message with new organ-friendly weapons set to replace old-fashioned firearms. Superior to conventional weapons in range and accuracy, the electric neural projectile, or EMP guns, attack the target's nervous system, causing severe pain and eventual brain death without damaging much-needed internal organs safeguarding supplies for hard-working citizens and their families. From today, possession of conventional firearms is illegal. Well, that's great, Bill. Those old guns were really nasty. And in tonight's lifestyle feature, we ask synthetic versus natural implants. When it comes to organs, can you beat the real thing? Latest figures show the CCS criminal control system has been a big success since the government licensed the technology from the Biotech Corporation. The CCS subcranial biochip implant uses neural redirection to suppress criminal urges and dampen aggression. Future models could include thought monitoring and reconstruction, limiting the subject's freedom to think and act. Sounds great to you and me, but one person not so happy is mysterious recluse Don Fulci. The suspected crime lord interrupted last night's lottery draw with an illegal broadcast in which he denounced the ACN's crime-fighting initiatives. I believe these measures threaten our great democracy. Christopher Stern is a dictator, and the ACN is private army. As a businessman and concerned citizen, I will do everything in my power to stop them. With bail bonds rising, every child knows crime pays. But little Jimmy Brown of Orange County coined a cool two million credits by informing on his dad and his uncle, both wanted felons. 
Nationwide, informants contributed to another record low in crime figures, with many felons turning in criminal associates. Well, it just goes to show no one's all bad, Bill. Meanwhile, ACN Chief Christopher Stern today appointed protege and former assistant Alan Sharp agency vice president. Known as a hardliner, Sharp championed the three strikes and your organs are out penalty for repeat offenders and promises more of the same. In breaking news, a leading citizen is murdered at his desk. Full victim profile and safety at work feature in our next bulletin. For now, I'm Bill Waverly. And I'm Kate Gloss. And that's all you need to know. Weiberg's dream. There's still millions of people with the virus inside them. Without Zweiberg's broadcast to trigger it, it's harmless. Angela, about your father. It's over. The men responsible are dead. I feel like my whole life just got wiped away. I know the feeling. It's time to start over. Just you and me and a stimulator automatic. You waited up. Hang in there. Once the virus is out of your system, you should recover as quick as you went down. Oh. What was that? Adrenaline. Soon as you're on your feet, we're out of here. What about Zweiberg? Dead.
this world belongs dead. Mass activation sequence initiated. Facility self-destruct to follow. Mass activation sequence initiated. Facility self-destruct to follow. Begin evacuation procedure. What's happening? Oh no. It started. The trigger. It's gonna be broadcast all over the world. How? Satellite. Interrupting transmissions. The same way Fulci did. Sick son of a bitch. Ship out millions of infected cans of x must then trigger a global plague with the doctored commercial. Can we stop it? The satellite has to line up with the global comms net before it can transmit. I could reprogram the coordinates, mess with its trajectory. Damn, there's a lock on the uplink. Zweiberg must have a master control down in the lab. I'm on my way. I'll work on the coordinates. Call me when you've activated the uplink control. Hurry, we don't have much time. Mass activation sequence initiated. Begin evacuation procedure. for a little contribution to science. Get away! Don't touch him! Oh! No! What have you done? <laughs> and lie back, my child. Lie back, and I'll take away the pain. Jack, but then I knew you would if the chief here whistled. I simply fed his suspicious mind a little and presto, here we all are. Drop your weapon. Sorry, Wade. I didn't know it was a setup. Of course he didn't. He was just thinking of the agency. So loyal, so dignified, so dead. No! Time for some new blood at the top. I was grooming Redwood as a successor, but I could get used to this hands-on work. You have plenty of blood on your hands, Fulci. Starting with Christopher Stern. That's half true, at least. You'll just love the other half. He treated you like a son. I was his project. I suffered his lectures and his moralizing. What I couldn't take was seeing the ACN run like an antique. It should be running the country. When he threatened to pull funding on Biotech's mind control program, I knew it was time for a change. So you murdered him? Now there I had help. I think my recording caps yours. Take pride in your work, Jack. I couldn't have. 
I'd remember. It slipped your mind. You have amnesia. Fact is, you were the perfect assassin. Working secretly with Stern. Tracking the insider he feared was out to kill him. You were the last one he'd suspect. I don't believe it. Come now, Jack. Don't lose your head over this. Well... I trusted you, believed in you. Angela, listen to me. You killed that too. Young lady, please. Mr. Wade is correct. He knows nothing of your father's death. Zweiberg? Dr. Zweiberg. A title earned with a lifetime service to this dubious collective you call a nation, for which nature rewards me with a cancer. Mr. Wade's amnesia, on the other hand, is entirely self-inflicted. He insisted on running away while certain procedures were in progress, damaging the memory centers of his brain. This was, of course, after he executed my wishes. And your father. Uh. No! The mind control chip implanted in your skull was damaged, along with your memory. So I am reduced to cruder methods. Pity. Control the mind, and you control the body. Even the body politic. Sharp thought Stern's death was to further his own plans. Mastery of the criminals and their booty. Ivalka ambition. But Stern threatened much more than the mind control program. Something of which you are a part. What more do you want from me? I want you to die, Mr. Wade. But first, give me a piece of your mind. the news, the Don is dead. Emilio Fulci, millionaire recluse and syndicate kingpin, tonight lies in a watery grave following an ACN assault on his ship, the Queen of Hearts. ACN helicopters intercepted the cargo vessel on a smuggling run from the Caribbean, sending it to the bottom of the ocean, together with Fulci and several thousand tons of black market organs. ACN chief Alan Sharp said he regretted the loss of organs, but described the death of Fulci, prime suspect in the murder of Christopher Stern, as a personal triumph. With Coast Guards reporting no survivors, it seems the secret of the mysterious criminal magnet's identity went down with the ship. In a related story, Biopop stepped up shipments of its nutritional eczema drink to victims of the Caribbean flood, promising a survivor six-pack for all. The move is part of Biotech Corporation's expanding humanitarian program, which now sees Xmas distributed free throughout the third world and developing countries. A spokesman expressed Biotech's determination to be a force for good in the world, pointing to top scientist Ernst Zweiberg's nominations for the ABCBS Science Personality of the Year Award and a Nobel Prize. Bill? Staying overseas, and a diplomatic incident was narrowly avoided during the First Lady's visit to the newly unified Korea, when her gift of medical-grade organs was unexpectedly served as an entree at the evening state banquet. The First Lady declined to eat the dish, but avoided offending her hosts by claiming to be vegetarian. And coming up in our lifestyle feature, with organic foods still finding their way onto the black market, we ask... How can we be sure the food we eat has no natural ingredients? That's after the break. You think I'm the dawn? 
<laughs> That's funny. If you're not Fulci, who are you? Just a loyal syndicate employee. I run the smuggling operation. Anything they want shipping, I bring it in. Period. So where's Fulci? Where would you expect to find the big boss in a ship? Try looking on the bridge. The bridge? Angela. needs organs, Syndicate can deliver. Cozy. Sure. Only the fat one. He tried to stiff both sides. Holding back organs to sell on the black market, then screwing the ACN for your sorry ass. So they sent the psycho cowboy to straighten him out. No, ass hunter. I come for you. I'm gonna make you real. He's been using a satellite link, broadcasting from the ship to avoid being traced. So, what's the son of a bitch look like? Can't tell. It's digitally encrypted. But if I use their equipment, I can decode the original image, enough to put him away for life. I thought you wanted him dead. Maybe a stretch in Aquadome would be more entertaining. Besides, we didn't find him yet. Better find Grey Wolf first. Maybe he knows where Fulci could be hiding on this tub. Make it fast. There's an ACN chopper on its way. I'll go to the radio room. Get started on the decoding. Maybe we should stick together. Nervous? Concerned? Almost forgot. I found these in the captain's cabin. Stuff about biotech and the ACN. Don't know what it all means, but there's something weird going on here. Take care. Call me when you reach the hatch to the lower deck. I can operate the ship's locking system from the bridge. Meantime, I'm looking for a big guy with attitude. Over to you, Kate. Meanwhile, at the Aqua Dome, former headhunter Jack Wade secured a memorable victory, seeing off stiff opposition to become arena champion. Wade chose multiple offender Grey Wolf as his rehab partner. The lucky duo are now enjoying a short cruise before starting correctional therapy. Didn't know you were a sports fan? You ever learned to knock? Your father gave me the key, remember? It's my house now. Of course. The heiress. Time was, you'd have been pleased to see me. Like you said, times are changing. I wanted to tell you in person. I believe we're getting close to your father's killer. Daddy would be proud of you, but I said I'd take care of it. Ah, yes. You and Jack. He's not who you think he is, Angela. Sure. He's a ruthless killer and an enemy of the state. You can't begin to imagine. Did you find the pod? So keep looking. Stay away from Jack Wade. He's a headhunter, old school. People he gets close to wind up dead. I can live with that. Angela? 
Jack, where are you? We're heading for Fulci's ship, the Queen of Hearts. Looks like it's making for the city docks. We're gonna try to get on board. If we do, we're gonna need you to. Jack? Jack! Queen of Hearts. How about that, folks? We end to a great contest, and we have a winner! A new champion of the Aquadome Arena, the Combat Conqueror, Jack Wayne! Mom always said, don't be in debt to nobody. Glad she bought you up right. How do we get out of here? This way. Better move fast. This thing's almost out of gas. Jack? Sorry, no. How are you, Angela? Fine. Thanks for your concern. You had us worried there. I had every agent in the ACN on standby. It's good to know they were standing by while Jack saved my life. Jack Wade is a reckless criminal who blundered in shooting and got lucky. The ACN would have got you out by the book. Same way you'll catch my father's murder? By the book? Finding Christopher Stern's killers is a personal crusade for me. I- Save it for the press release, Alan. Jack and I will get this done without any help from the ACN. I wouldn't count on it. Times are changing, Angela. I'm changing them. And as for Jack, you'll find he's busy elsewhere. Wade, what's going on? Agents have been calling you in all over town. I just disarmed the last detonator. Democracy's safe. The city can sleep easy. And I need a drink. The X must is on me. Now you're a hero again, I'll see what can be done about getting those charges dropped. Meantime, you better keep your head down. That's right, Jack. <coughs> keep your head down. Hey, what do you know? Track you down even without a dog. That's 
blocked the transfer. The system no longer recognizes their access codes. Now to arrange a little treat from Don Fulci. Reverse the process, withdraw the deposit, and the Syndicate makes a small but welcome donation to every customer on the bank's network. Siphon the rest into a locked account. Suddenly, the Syndicate's running on empty. You're not so smart, as Hunter. We'll still get the money. The Dawn's got it figured. He does? Fulci has something else planned? <laughs> yes What? Tell me. Uh, wolf... Uh, wolf Pack set something up. Like what? Ben... Pentagon... F Phoenix... Big Bang. What is that? What's it mean? Don't... No. Saw plans. Where? Where'd you see them? Wolf Pack. Filing room through meeting room. Sounds like I better check out Wolfpack HQ. But first, I'll see what the Layla database has on Phoenix. If it's government, you'll need... To upgrade my license? I'm way ahead of you. Keep me posted. You want to tell me how to drop the lasers? Or do we reminisce some more about your sister? <laughs> Better for seeing you. What kept you? I always get lost in walls. Guess Fulci had some unfinished business with the Stearns. The hostages are a diversion. Same with the bombs in the mall. I overheard one of Ramirez's goons. They're robbing the Millennium Bank. That's nuts. Credit chips are tracked electronically. They're not stealing credits. They're hacking the mainframe, siphoning funds from the entire network into offshore accounts. Every small town Joe sees his life savings vanish, while the syndicate suddenly gets richer than the government. And more powerful. How do we stop them? We don't. We join them. If we can hook my computer into the bank's mainframe, I should be able to scramble the transfer requests so they're no longer recognized. We better be quick. Ramirez is headed through the sewers to the bank. I'll go back to the house, start on a program. You get to the bank. Call me when you're ready to hook me in. Be careful. Ramirez is an animal. Jack, thanks. Angela? Angela! I'm okay. That means the bank's security unit has been blown. I'll find a way out. Get after Ramirez. Today's big story, the wolf is caged. Gang leader turned syndicate henchman Grey Wolf is tonight behind bars, following an ACN operation which left his wolf pack organization in disarray. Details are unclear, but word is hotshot headhunter Hank Redwood was responsible for the arrest, helming an ACN operation planned over several months. Grey Wolf himself now faces a long term in the notorious Aquadome underwater prison. Guess that's one wolf who wished he'd worn sheep's clothing, Kate. Absolutely, Bill. There's speculation on what the Syndicate's response will be to this defeat, but for now, it's wait and see. Meantime, the Biotech Corporation is dismissing reports that the Syndicate found a way to disable CCS implants, leaving criminals like Grey Wolf free to think for himself. The CCS biochip implant draws power from the electrical activity of the brain, remaining fully functional for the lifetime of the subject. Any attempt to tamper with the chip would reduce the subject to a vegetable. Still with biotech, the corporation responded to rumors of a mysterious viral outbreak at the labs, saying it was simply a bad case of flu among technicians researching a cure. A spokesman promised workers full compensation for any organs damaged. 
Meanwhile, biotech subsidiary Biopop is distributing its Xmas nutrient drink free to schools, hospitals, and aerobic centers as part of its new welfare program. Doctors advise us to keep up those fluids, especially during the flu season. Next up, some good news for seniors. From today, all over 60s on welfare get a job counting votes in state elections. With guaranteed recounts and generous bonuses for seniors whose count matches government computer predictions, these young at heart poll jockeys could be on to a winner. It's great to see those guys still active, Bill. Sure is, Kate. After the break, plucked from the ocean six weeks ago, raft boy Pedro Alonso is set to fly home. But with Miami relatives still laying claim to his organs, we ask, is home where the heart is? Bill Waverly. And I'm Kate Gloss with All You Need to Know. Top of the news. Victory in the battle against organ smuggling. In one of their biggest operations to date, ACN officers armed with sniffer dogs today seized organs with a street value of $30 million in a raid on the city docks. The black market in so-called backdoor organs is estimated to cost the government $200 million a year in lost duty, as well as causing shortages for law-abiding citizens. ACN Supremo, Alan Sharp, described the raid as a boost to public health, promising the organs would be distributed free to seniors and single moms. Meanwhile, Border Police struck a blow against the market in on-the-hoof organs, capturing 35 illegals as they were being herded into the country by organ rustlers. The illegals are now being processed by immigration. In other news... The U.S. threatened to withdraw all hamburger franchises from Russia unless Premier Iganov takes action to halt the flow of illegal weapons from the country. The move is seen as the next step in a campaign to keep conventional firearms out of the hands of criminals. Hollywood actors recently helmed an ENP Awareness Day in which gun enthusiasts got to try out the new Smith & Easton Stimulator Automatic. With enhanced sound effects, recoil, and explosive impact on non-organic targets, the stimulator promises responsible gun owners all the thrills of a conventional weapon. I certainly keep a stimulator by my bed, Bill. Absolutely, Kate. And coming up in tonight's lifestyle feature, Two Wheels or Four. With road accidents costing body parts and Grey Wolf's Wolfpack biker gang riding high on the criminal exchange, we ask, does riding a motorcycle make you a bad person? Second best. You, you were the best, Wade. Do I know you? Maybe this will jog your memory. Smith & Easton Stimulator, ENP Automatic. Clip size? 10 rounds. Muzzle velocity? 850. Payload? Combined neurostimulants and motor cortex scrambler, producing incapacity and eventual brain death. <laughs> like riding a bike. I'm Chief Frank Hawk, and you, Wade, were my number one headhunter. Eight years, top of the league for six. More captures than the rest of them put together. I'm a regular hero. And now you're fired for life. Sorry, Wade, but it's orders. They don't even tell me why. Times are changing. Maybe if we knew what happened to you... You're asking the wrong guy. That's too bad. You could go independent. You'd have to pass the Layla test, but you'd get a weapon and a VM. Wouldn't give access to classified files, but it'd be a start. Back to school, huh? With an ENP gun in your hand, it could be worse. Contact me when you got your Layla license. I'll help any way I can. Word of warning. You've woken up with quite a few enemies. I wouldn't trust anyone you don't know. And right now, you don't know anyone.
Jack Wade. Stern? Angela Stern? You know my name. I watch TV. Christopher Stern's daughter. I saw your father's funeral. I'm sorry. So am I. I want you to help me, Mr. Wade. I want you to find the man who killed my father. I want Don Fulci to be sorry, too. How do you know it was Don Fulci? He hated my father and everything he stood for. Call it a hunch. Why don't you tell it to the ACM? They want to see him behind bars. I want to see him dead. I'm not an executioner. You don't know what you are. Retrograde amnesia, remember? Outside of the killer, you were the last person to see my father alive. His diary shows you had a meeting with him. You were working together on some kind of secret project. Find my father's killer, and maybe you'll find out what happened to you. I'll think about it. Don't think too long. I'd say medical expenses are running at a kidney donation already. You can spend the rest of your life hunting lowlifes, or crack the case of the decade for a handsome fee. How handsome? Two million on delivery of Fulci. What about in advance? My assets are frozen until my father's case is closed. You'll have to trust me. I heard that before. Just remembered. That's a good sign. Get well soon, Jack. And when you do, come pay me a visit. Some place you have here. I grew up in this house. It seemed real big and exciting then, but now... I'll get us an X must Take a look around. Maybe some of Daddy's ACN stuff could help jog your memory. Welcome to Layla. Headhunter techniques for new recruits. Basic crime fighting proficiency training. Prepare for virtual reality simulation. Please, I... I can't remember. Patient's name is Jack Wade. Found unconscious in the parking lot of an industrial park a week ago. In and out of metabolic coma the past three days. Gunshot trauma to the leg. Evidence of some advanced surgery. Surgery? What surgery? And apparent retrograde amnesia. Suggested therapy controlled neural rehab. Mental stimulation. A daughter and a nation say farewell. Christopher Stern, founder and father figure of the ACN, was buried today in Arlington National Cemetery. Among the mourners, distraught Angela Stern was comforted by Alan Sharp, recently elected ACN vice president and Stern's chosen successor. Christopher Stern was far more than a boss to me, and I'm honored to build on the foundations he laid. Decades of criminality have been reversed. Organized crime is in retreat. But we can do much more. 
closer cooperation between the ACN and biotech will allow ever greater control over criminals, suspects, and those thinking criminal thoughts. The war is only just beginning. Meanwhile, debate still rages over who was responsible for Stern's assassination, many pointing the finger at self-styled Don Emilio Fulci. Thought to have links with the criminal syndicate, little is known about Fulci. Never seen in public, his appearance remains shrouded in mystery. An ACN raid on offices of one of Fulci's business interests revealed no trace of the elusive criminal magnet. Kate? Thanks, Bill. In other news, psychotic gangster Esteban Ramirez rose three points on the criminal exchange, hitting a career-high 1750. Mass murderer John Lindsay continued his slide down five to 1700. No change at the top of the headhunter league, however. Hank Redwood bringing in three most wanted for his fifth successive number one ranking. Redwood's had his critics, but it seems there's no question now that he's... Neural resonance 120 and rising. We have core activity. Increase to 500 megahertz. Subject is conscious. Security, it's the alarm. We have a situation. Subject is dangerous. Close all exits. 